I know, <laughs> right? Feels bad when you hear it well, like that. Actually, but hey. those numbers looking kind of stilted. Let's see if Dark Wizzy can tie it up today. Make those numbers look good for him. Or if MVD is going to continue on his rampage. Because I feel like out of all of the foreign talent to Tri-State, MVD is the one who really had the breakout where everyone was like, oh, we don't got to worry about this guy. Meanwhile, MVD, he's letting the crew know this is a man you have to worry about. Okay. And already off to a pretty good start for Wizzy. He's kind of caught on very early, like extremely early onto when MVD wants to jump and he's been calling it out with full hop down and it just gets him so much damage early on because he can immediately go for a jump up air after. Okay. Taking his time walking around. We're going to see a lot of B reverse uh, fireballs as well. It'll blow up the grenade so it's a nice kind of defensive option while slowly weaving your way in to kind of clear the field. It's like using defog in Pokemon, you know what I mean? Lord, you gotta just get it all out, man. There you go. And he's evasion going down a little bit. Almost got the perfect conversion there. Just not quite enough hit stun on that one to make it connect. And that up tilt a little bit early as well. Woo. Seeing how well Wizzy is going to be able to react to MPD, I feel is going to be the biggest factor of this because there's only so much that he's going to be able to do when he's trying to approach him with an air and then just eat a grenade. Or if he's trying to space out with fireballs and then have to deal with MPD's superior zoning tools. Oh, and that was a crazy empty hop from Dark Wizzy from the top ropes all the way down. Walked back a little bit, and so he has to drop shield now. But have to give shout outs to MVD for staying ever vigilant and keeping that shield up. It's that defensive play that's worked out so well for MVD up to this point. Like, to be able to recognize, all right, if I stay patient, I stay alive. Maybe I'm hurting a little bit, but I got more stocks than the other guy. And that's what's mattering at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. That kind of play works out really well. Got more against stocks. All players of all skill levels. And you know that Dark Wizzy is well acclimated to fighting those passive playstyles, zone breaking, and then making mincemeat out of them once he's in. And it's one of those things, too, where even if Dark Wizzy blows up a couple grenades with some fireballs, maybe capes a few projectiles back, he will never be able to get rid of absolutely everything. And the moment that MVD is able to find that one hit, he's going to capitalize and get some damage. Like, under realistic circumstances, Wizzy's only got one fireball in the field goal. And has got two mm -hmm. grenades. Those numbers don't add up into his favor. Beautiful. Favorite. But he got that down smash with the quickness. I know, right? He came out there and was like, whoa. Hit him with the toe real quick. Steel toe boots. Let him know what's hey, Oh, hey, where are you get. going? Hold up. Bring it back to the brawl days. <laughs> he tried to dunk him off of that. You're crazy, Dark Wizzy. Still finding the up smash immediately oh, after. But I love the gusto in this man. Never pauses for a beat. I push him away. I want center stage. Give it to me. That was cute. And if he was just a little bit more patient, he had everything on the second one, too. I'm a very big fan of item play in Smash. It's my personal favorite aspect of the game as a whole. And seeing characters that don't naturally have items take advantage of those that are spawned by their opponent is one of my favorite measures of counterplay. So how seeing how well Wizzy can use those grenades, take advantage of Snake's own arsenal against him, is what I look to see the most. Yeah, I'm wondering how Dark Wizzy was actually able to survive that last setup. He was well over like 150, 160 when that down throw happened. I don't know if MVD was just too slow with the up tilt, but he should be a dead man right now. Dash attack says he should as well. However, MVD is sitting at 112, which most characters would be shaking in their boots, but mm -hmm. Snake can be surviving fine so long as he's got the ground to stand on. And he's fine waiting on stage. I can set up for an up smash. There it is. Hit him with the back of the noggin, though. No. Oh, wait, hold on. He's off stage. MVD can go for a crazy edge guard here. Dark Wizzy needs to be careful. Tries to two frame the recovery with the forward smash, but Dark Wizzy getting through the demolition and putting out that up smash. Secure game one. MVD still putting up an immaculate showing, though. Game two is going to be a banger. I actually really like Wizzy's approach to this game one, and I hope to see throughout the rest of the set where he's very proactive in how he's eliminating MVD's space control options. Like, grenades are either being thrown by him or they're being uh, deleted. Whether it be Flood pushing them away or Fireball getting rid of them. Mm -hmm. On top of that, he's not really pressing as many buttons. He's waiting for MVD to do something to then punish. And I think that proactive yet passive play is such a good answer to Snake as a whole, but especially MVD's style. So if MVD manages to tweak his play a little bit, I think it'll actually have very big implications for the rest of the set. Can't help but agree with you there. I mean, I'm thinking, you know, with the way... Uh, I feel like sometimes in the past it can be rough depending on the player, 
for MVD to make some of those slight adjustments. You know what I mean? Especially against a player like Dark Wizzy, who he's had the number of in the past, but as I mentioned before, the past two times that I've seen, at least recorded, he's been able to get the dub. So we're going to see if today's the day. Can I finally do it? Can I get my next win against Dark Wizzy? Because he seemingly made the adjustments to my snake. But now, Dark Wizzy on the offensive once again, throwing out the fireball, double jumping around the shield of MVD, keeping him guessing the entire time. But Dark Wizzy, unable to gain control of center stage. I would love to see MVD like turn to more boxing on the base plot because he does such a great job of denying platforms from his opponents. Between his excellent placing of grenades, his denial of space with C4, and how willing he is to Tomahawk, threaten with a back air, threaten with a nair as need be, just putting his boots on the ground, being willing to dash attack and jab where needed, I think would actually do him a world of good, especially on town and city. A stage that so further emphasizes control of the base platform over the plats. Oh man. <laughs> MVD showing just how busted Snake's dash attack really is, man. Because it's one of the best anti airs in the game, and it doesn't look like it, but the hitbox hits so far above his head that if someone's in the air, even just a little bit, just throw it out there so fast and go ahead and keep someone in the juggle state. But even with that said, MVD trying to make his way back. Can't find the hit. Dark Wizzy fighting back with the back air. Wow, and the armor from the. Uh, what do you call it? The, the cipher. Not getting broken there by the nair from Dark Wizzy. Bro, Mario retreating there is actually oh. not fair. Like, Wizzy's managed to get so much off of just being able to poke and run away that even with how ridiculous the damage on board is, like, the deficit is being relatively kept up. Woo! But a roll read looking real good for MBD here in game two. We cover those options, baby. You neutral get up, see ya. You roll in, see ya. If he jumped, he would have been good, but hey. Had a grenade on the floor as well, so he's kind of like, ah, what do I do? And now perfect chance for MVD to rack up a little bit of extra damage, throws a parry, but does not get a chance to do anything with it as Dark Wizzy, once again with the answer in the up smash, being his main tool to confirm for KO's here. Oh. Okay, push him to the side, to set up a little bit more grenades, put the C4s on the ground. Oh, beautiful. I love seeing that from MVD, that man. That's one of my favorite conversions. Man's cooking. Okay. It's that simple play. Keep him in shield. You can't swing on you if he's in shield, but you got to lock him down a little bit harder. Was he on his last stock right now? As MVD playing really well, trying to turn the tides of the set to his favor. Okay. Wow, double explosion. There goes. It's going to be a lot of damage. Dab lock. Oh, oh, but the explosion from the back because the grenade was still sitting there. Dark Wizzy not going to be able to get what would have been a confirmed oh, KO. Oh, now another. that was a clean one. Look at that. Ooh. The rising fireball to down smash instantly. Oh, that was good. Dark Wizzy is honestly heat. Like, <laughs> there's nothing else to say, man. There's a reason he controls the character of fire because he brings the fuego. I don't even know if he needed the jab lock either for that. That looked like that could have just been hit confirmed to death. But either way, it was looking kind of nice. Go MVD, gonna put him down. Tech chase with the dash attack, I like it. Keeps it nice and simple, forces Dark Wizzy into the corner, or he has to come down from above. Ooh. Okay, uh oh. Expecting maybe a tech in from MVD, but not giving it to him. Dark Wizzy needs an explosive option, and not that kind of explosive no, option. No, no, no. My man needs to box him out, he needs to take back the stage, he needs to force Wizzy into situations where no matter what option he picks, he's eating a little bit of damage. Oh, man. Meanwhile, Wizzy looking real good as he constantly is reversing his projectiles. Ah! Oh! Oh, he gave him a cut with that up tilt, bro. I see in the barber, bro. Oh! Wow! Oh, he made you looking kind of tight with that wow. one. Wow! Oh! Dark Wizzy really just escaped the cleanest fade. Like, I cannot. Wow! Yo, that's when he Hey, yo, shout out to Spacey. He, he, got, his, he got his hair the shape of <laughs> and he got his bro, hat the shape of. <laughs> Bro. Oh, there yeah, we go. That's beautiful still clean. Smash. That still looked nice. That was crazy. Oh, man. He just pelting away, man. Out of swoosh. Right out of shield. All right, they cutting into it for game three. Now, was he in fit? Honestly, it was looking like MVD had that one. But Wizzy said otherwise. He said, no, 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 no. This is my top eight. You can work a little harder for it. Yeah. Back against the ropes here. 
And, and the crazy thing is for me is that I actually feel like he's done a good job of shutting down a lot of the options that I consider like traditionally dark wizzy. You know what I mean? We haven't seen a crazy conversion into a fair off stage. We haven't really seen crazy forward smash. It's been all right. I'm gonna rack up some damage, get him decently high, and then kill him with an up smash almost every single time. No, yeah, it's been just a, a lot of very fast-paced neutral. It's been a matter of battling for very small amounts of space because there, there's constantly active space on the field between the grenades, between the fireballs, between the fact that both gentlemen are just constantly approaching on each other. Like, there's never a dull moment in the battle for control of town and city. But that being said, I feel like Dark Wizzy is making a lot more out of when he does manage to win out. Meanwhile, MVD still needs to take a little bit of time to set himself up so that he can have total stage presence. Because no matter what... Oh. His soul. Oh. oh. <laughs> he really just swam. I feel bad for him. <laughs> he really just came up for it, too. My father's, my grandpa's deck has no weak cards, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what that was. Oh. Man, Shadow Realm immaculately delivered to MVD there. And the crazy thing is, too, like, MVD. Oh, okay, there we go. Gets the yeah, down throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he hasn't allowed Dark Wizzy to get a good read on the way he's descending from the top. Like, he doesn't air dodge in areas where Dark Wizzy wants him to air dodge to get a falling up air and then convert into something crazy. He's actually been pretty good about getting back down from a juggle state. But even with that said, he just can't seem to quite keep up. Yeah, it's funny because even though Wizzy, like, like Mario just isn't fast enough and doesn't have Ooh. the space tools, air, like, aerially speaking, to really contest with these very high recoveries. But Snake has to land eventually, and when he does, that's when Wizzy is really making him pay the price. And it's also one of those things where you'd think that, like, Phantom Foot Stooling uh, would be, like, a very useful tool in, like, a matchup like this. That's what Gimmer used for the video, even. The video but, like, if you're a snake here, you want to get back to the ground. The other thing. If you're MVD, you want to stop looking at that up smash animation because Wizzy's been showing it off every frame. Okay. Go. I love the idea of using Dare as that early combo piece. It's not a long conversion, but... You're stalling out grenades. And I think that uh -oh. is really oh, important. Man. Oh, my lord. I thought he was going to charge Force Smash right there, but MVD is still in it. 66% here back against the ropes. Potentially the tournament, well, winner's side tournament game for yeah, him here. He's he's able to get find himself Doug. There. Hey, he needs to find it now. Like, there is no better time like now. And hey, every time he down B's, he hears the words himself. You just gotta make it a reality as Dark Wizzy pushing ever closer to getting to that winner's side. Winner's semi. Yeah. And honestly, I think winner's side is the safer part for someone like Wizzy because right now that loser's bracket is absolute hell. You oh, do not want to be there. Like, normally, of course, you don't want to be there, but especially today, you do not want to be there. Okay, and there we go. Slowly bringing it back, setting up some ledge traps. Oh my god. Good DR from Dark Wizzy, though, because that could have been that. Okay. He has the grenade in hand. And I think MVD actually wanted to capitalize on the fact that he knew he was going to explode and get an up air on Dark Wizzy, but didn't expect to get clipped by his own grenade there. Oh! Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, tensions are high. What's oh, the option? What a recovery from MVD. That's the mix up he needs. Oh, my God. Oh! What a response, even that the little power. Yo, even hey, hey, All right, hey, the boys have followed it. Boys have followed it. That's what I like to see. And sipping water right after. Sportsmanship to drink water. Stay hydrated, gamers. Hydration bot reminds yeah, me to MVD, stay hydrated. man. By the skin of his teeth, bro. Making this go to game numero four, man. Quattro, quattro. I love watching these two play. They look like they're having a blast. That's one thing you got to love about a hyped set. When both of the contestants look like they're having a lot of fun with it, when you know that like, their emotion is in their play, but they're not taking it as a, as a personal offense if they're losing. Like, this isn't life or death. Mm -hmm. It is as far as the bracket's concerned, but it's not like these boys aren't going home after this tournament. And Dark Wizzy's like, I got something to prove. Why didn't y'all put me in the crew battle yesterday? So he's like, Ooh, hey, right, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got something to prove. Oh! You got something to prove! Dark you Wizzy! Got something to prove. You can't tell the world any louder you got something to prove if that's how you're coming out the gate. Yo, was that the fastest stock of all time? That was record <laughs> time for Wizzy, at least.
Yo, AGDQ started today, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey. hey. For the culture, Dark Wizzy. Hey. MBD had been doing such a good job of avoiding that, though. You know what I mean? The entire set up until this point, Dark Wizzy hadn't found one of those. He usually gets at least one or two of those conversions a set, and it looks like he finally found it. MVD must be shaken up, but we've seen him slowly, slowly inch his way back into the match. We're going to see what his answer is here, because Dark Wizzy, he looks like a player to beat on the screen right now. This actually kind of looking ridiculous. He's like piloting over Smashville so comfortably. Ooh. And normally this Ooh. is a stage that Snake doesn't really worry about contesting space for. It's so small. There's a lot of opportunity for him to worry less about the projectile pressure and start boxing more. But to that notion, how well are you going to step into the ring with Wizzy when he's swinging as comfortably as he is today? He tried to slide off and fall with the nair and MVD just up tilt. Not going to pull that cheesy option on me. Scouted it out completely, and now 98% at Snake. Oh, 119 now, but <laughs> up smash will kill, especially if he's on that platform. Um, from the base, though, I think he might survive a little while longer. Uh, but, man, MVD's doing such a great job of bringing this back. Especially having Mario in the corner. A lot of Snake's options would just kill, particularly er uh, early against a character like this. Okay. Dark Wizzy looking for the reads to get that up smash. And MVD's gonna recover high here. B reverse, no, just falls all the way down with the grenade in hand. I actually like that from Dark Wizzy as well. He throws a grenade off stage, not even deal with the potential that can still be in play. But there we go, another conversion from MVD, despite the fact that Dark Wizzy obliterated his first stock. Like, it did not exist. Like, Exodia came <laughs> up with the cameo. Didn't even matter. No, 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 no. MVD is the one in the lead right now. Listen, That's crazy. You can tell that crazy. these guys want it. But MVD is doing such a good job of showcasing that he's not out of it just yet. He will not be made the victim of a clip. He is coming for this game five. He's got a little harder for it. He's got Wizzy on the ropes hey. with 80%. Hey, don't count out Dark Wizzy. Hey. Hey. He's revving up. Here we go. Immediately running in with the jump there because he knows at low percents that's exactly the move he wants to land on Snake. Leads to all of his extended combos. Potentially can carry MVD off stage if he DIs away and he can go for a fair and spike. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oof. Okay. Not out of it just yet. He's gonna drop. Can you get back to stage? Nice double jump to get around the mortar. They don't, they don't oh. call him jump man for no reason. Hey, he's up to something. There we go. Gonna roll in. And he needs to be especially careful now because he's at the perfect percent where Nair will lead into hard knockdown. If Wizzy is able to read or get a jab lock, he can still kill MVD at this percent. All right, MVD gonna recover high once again. And now MVD needs to be careful because if Wizzy just has to full hop there, it will kill. Fonzo gets the job done okay. just fine. We got the game five on our hands. Flambo, you know how I love my game fives. Hey, hey. That's, that's for the fans. I, I need my tension. The chat. I need my tension. As this is for as you. Cake. I'm trying to cut it with a knife. Hey, man. And then they go. Still. But the boy's still having fun with it. Hey. Now, honestly, I feel like for Dark Wizzy, like Snake is a matchup that a lot of people complain about. But I feel like... For these two, you can tell that they're both genuinely having fun with their gameplay. You know what I mean? It doesn't seem like he's like, oh man, I gotta wait again. He's like, all right, I'm finding my way in. It's fun figuring out. It's kind of like a chess match. You know what I mean? Like, what option do I pick here to counter the option I think he's gonna go for? Okay, game five. They do, uh, this has been a great set. Let's this do really the pound, nice. the mid-set pound. You know what I mean? Cause they're like, this was too good. I gotta give it to you, brother. All right, and starting things off, Wizzy right out the gate once again, but no stocks deleted, so isn't as good of a start as it was previously. We just don't know. Oh, oh, man, Ooh. still caught on the way up. He had delayed his recovery to try and not get hit by any of those explosions. He said, I'll put out three. How's that work for you? Okay, oh, man, it's Smashville, too. That makes me sweat a little bit for Dark Wizzy. Oh! That grenade saved that man. But Nikita Did it almost though? saw it to the end of him. <laughs> Did it though? <laughs> Till he gets off the sledge? I'm like, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Turned out there was nowhere safe. All right, everything is just cooking. Oh, looking rough for Dark Wizzy there. 
I was completely stuck on the ledge. And I was gonna say, like, Smashville is such a good snake stage. You can control that base platform in your sleep. Even in the Brawl days, you never wanted to take a snake Oh, here. that's what I'm but, saying. Oh. That's why I was so confused when we went there in the previous game and Wizzy was looking so good. I figured this is a lot of space that everything can control so well. He doesn't have to leverage his projectiles as heavily as on other maps. But now we're really getting a chance to see that, and MVD is on oh, fire! Man. There is no oh, safe space! This is a no-fly zone, and MVD is controlling it with an iron fist. I... I don't... I don't know what... <laughs> Dog, Wizzy needs an answer, man. He My man needs answer. a prayer. He's like, fizzing out all C on the Scantron right now, and it is not working out. Like, you gotta... There's a one four <laughs> chance, I'm right! <laughs> you gotta start making some educated guesses, you know what I mean? Like, hey... Estimate, brother. Process of elimination works. All right, there we go. Did finally get MVD down to a second stock. We're going to see how much damage he's actually able to rack up before he goes to potentially his last stock of winners. He was unable to bring this back, looking for that opening, and he's being patient about it, too. He's like, I can get a grab. I can get maybe a, a short hop down air, but no. MVD that was beautiful. Again. again. No grenade to save him this time. This is a really rough look for Wizzy right now. I mean, he's just playing so healthy. Yo, there's just a I like that healthy, bro. <laughs> there's just a constant blast of grenades. Okay, racking up that extra, extra damage. All right, Wizzy trying to bide his time, but this is exactly what I was scared on Smashville, right? You either want to retreat to that middle platform in which MVD will full hop Nair every day of the week, or you try to short hop in, and then you have all these project... You're still in the corner. It's so hard to get out the corner once you're in it, and MVD is proving to be such a thorn in the side of Dark Wizzy. Can you find the answer, Wizzy? Oh, wait! Forward smash Ooh. isn't going to get him just yet. Forced to get rid of that grenade right away. 143. And, like, if, if I'm MVD here, I'm like, I'm going to get him to 150, and I don't care if I lose the stock. You know what I mean? I'm just going to fish for grab on the last stock, and just call it a day. Whew. Okay. That Nikita was... That had to be a missing click. See? But instead... Oh! Oh! An eruption of passion comes from MVD. 